Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and I want to wish all of you a very, very happy new year. I'm just gonna keep saying it for the next few days because I know a lot of you have had some very well-deserved downtime for the past couple of weeks and might still just be getting back into the flow of things, figuring out what your 2023 schedule is going to look like. Thank you so much to those of you who have been with me from the beginning or even if you just joined towards the end of 2022. I do hope that whenever possible you will make my videos a part of your day in 2023. I always love hearing when you are listening to the videos or watching them, whether it's at the beginning of your day, during your lunch hour, or at the end of the day when you are washing dishes. I feel like a lot of you listen to me when you are washing dishes, which is totally, totally fine. Today I have a great quarterly lifestyle box slash travel box that has been sent to me for review. I am hoping that they will continue to send me these boxes in the future. They have had a lot of shipping delays, so I feel like we've really only gotten two or three boxes per year versus the usual four. But in case you haven't guessed or in case you missed the uh, thumbnail and the title, it is of course the amazing Journey Box by Kivia. So there's always some lovely jewelry pieces because that is what Kivia, the owner and designer, is known for. But again, there is always that lovely travel element. I just love these boxes. We have this beautiful ribbon tie closure and then it is a nice magnetic box so you can use them now mine always do come in an outer mailer but for whatever reason usually because the boxes are pretty darn hefty they are almost always torn so I don't think I have one journey box that doesn't have a torn corner which is kind of a bummer I wish they would put like some like foam around it or something or maybe it's just my mail carriers because if you have been with my channel for a while you know my mail carriers from all of the different services are a little rough on my packages sometimes Sometimes, and it's kind of a bummer but I do still use these boxes because as you know I like to do giveaways on my channel so I save a lot of the products kind of categorize them so that I can put together those giveaway boxes for you all whenever it is time and right now we are still doing secret password mystery box giveaways so you always want to be on the lookout for secret passwords in my videos so that you can enter to win so, of course, on the inside of these gorgeous custom boxes, the boxes themselves, you guys, are pretty pricey to have produced, I'm sure. We have a lovely map, and you can see in that foil, maybe you can see it, it says Tübingen, which is in Germany. And of course, I love it because they got their umlauts going on, especially over the, in this case, it's over the U, and I have an umlaut in my name, so I'm always a stickler for the diacritics. It does look like my tissue paper has gotten a little jostled around. There's some tearage, but that is all right. But I do like this. I just think it's really neat, especially for the nicer, pricier boxes. And this is actually a very well-priced box. That's why I'm a little more forgiving with their shipping schedule. Um, to have these boxes where you can sort of slowly enjoy or store the items if they're things that you want to save to use in your life later. I have a lot of things that I have in storage because right now I live in a small apartment. I'm hoping to one day have a bigger house where I can use a lot of the beautiful products that I've received in different boxes. So that is the case. I keep my boxes uh, nice and pristine and keep the items that came in the boxes in the boxes whenever possible. So Journey Box by Kivia is just $54.99 per quarter. There is a little discount if you're able to do an annual. I do have an affiliate link. It is not necessarily for a discount, but it definitely helps me out when you use my affiliate links. I, in theory, get a little commission, but really it's mostly about letting the boxes know that this is where you saw them and this is what compelled you to go ahead and become a subscriber yourself. It says each Journey Box contains specially designed travel and nature inspired accessories, home, beauty, and apparel goods delivered to your doorstep four times a year. Every journey box is made up of $200 worth of ethically made sustainable designer goods and annual subscribers always receive an additional exclusive journey box item valued at $40 or more. So I'm going to open it up by tearing the dragonfly tissue paper. I'm not really sure why dragonflies are the symbol of journey box, but I like them. I think they're good luck when I see them. And then I found the nice little product booklet where she does really take us on a journey. There's usually a nice letter from Kivia and then she tells us all about the individual products on each sheet and it does tell, the, tell us the MSRPs which you guys know I appreciate. So uh, let me go ahead and grab something so that I can maybe do the math as we go along to total up the retail value on this box. It's usually around $200 and then plus the exclusive annual member gift, which again, they were kind enough to send this box to me for a review and count me as an annual member, so I get that gift. I also really love this box because there's always an element of customization. 
So you can see these gorgeous full color pages. I just really appreciate this. This is the letter from her. Here's a map showing us where Tübingen is. So it's in the, uh, looks like Southwest of Germany. Um, and then there's little pockets where, for example, here it's telling us about one of these items, which is the apron. But then there's a little, a uh, little extra paragraph about the Chocoladenfest or the chocolate festival that happens. That sounds awesome. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean we're getting chocolate in the box, right? Or we have something about Stokarkan, which is the punting boats. Look at these beautiful images, you guys. So, so nice. Uh, so there was the uh, centerfold that I showed you. We have a recipe to go along with one of our items that is for the kitchen. You're getting a lot of spoilers. Information about Schloss Hohentubingen, which is the castle that's on one of the hills there. So a lot of information. I believe I read in some of the emails because she does a, a newsletter. Oh, Weihnachtsmarkt Market, which is the Christmas markets, which Germany is so famous for, that she actually traveled there, I think towards the end of college, maybe, to visit family. And then at the end, it says, good nacht. Um, so, all right, you guys, let me go ahead and turn to the correct page to show you all of the gifts. I'm not going to necessarily read the articles, the little mini articles, or the... Um, letter from her because we have so much to cover so let me see she does have a table of contents but sometimes it actually takes longer to do the table of contents but let me go ahead and unwrap this so this is this really cool platchen rolling pin so it has an msrp of 20 dollars. that actually seems really fair and it does uh, have a recipe here that's in the booklet as well for gingerbread cookies and i'm just trying to pull the plastic off so that we can take a look at this really cool rolling pin so it says enjoy the winter holiday treat of springerle an embossed cookie whose origins trace to the 14th century in tubingen and surrounding hamlets in the swabian region of the su of southern germany so that is taped on so you can't quite see but you can see how it's engraved and it's going to create that pattern on your cookies create unique baked goods for holiday celebrations with our embossed rolling pin simply roll the laser cut solid beech wood pin over cookie dough to embellish the surface with a beautiful feathered scroll work pattern before cutting into shapes and baking to perfection um, it is again solid solid beech wood so that is so so pretty i love that but i just want to take the uh recipe card off a little bit neatly with like my exacto knife so i'm not going to do it right now but let me just show it to you because she did provide us these lovely images i did see a little note that they actually have a playlist i'm not sure if it's with german music but it said that for the full unboxing experience they created a playlist too so i think that is kind of a new thing and then let's go ahead and grab this because this is the apron that i showed you that was the first item this has an msrp of 45 dollars and i do think this is a really nice quality apron we get aprons in a lot of lifestyle boxes of varying degrees of quality and um it's always about the design for me and i really like this tubing in bastelin apron because it's this thicker canvas now it does have some serious branding there with the kivia but i love the color the gray and the blue i love the patterns i think it's great that it's got these um very like utilitarian pockets on the front and then these like grommets but what's neat about it to me is that it has this um suspender like straps like almost like overalls more instead of it going around your neck so the straps are thin enough that if you wanted to you could probably tie it but it's got these nice clips which i think is really great because sometimes we don't like to have things around our neck especially if you wear your hair down although if you're cooking you probably want to wear your hair up but i love that it's got the little pocket up here it's got these two bigger pockets down here it says experience the spirit of german arts and crafts with this beautifully designed utility apron the elegant pattern is a contemporary rendition of the blue and white ceramics first popularized in germany in the 18th century the modern apron is designed with durable suspender style straps and medical me metal buckles to allow a custom fit that keeps you comfortable as you cook craft tinker and garden in style crafted in 100 organic cotton and equipped with plenty of pockets for tools paint brushes and gadgets the dove gray tubing and apron measures 33 by 27 inches and is fully adjustable to fit so I just thought the design of that was pretty cool. It is a little heavy because of the hardware, but I just thought it was really pretty. I hope that it washes well. I'm not sure if it does say the washing instructions, but it does say hand wash and lay flat to dry. So not my favorite for an apron because I want to be able to throw that into the wash, but I could hand wash it or put it on the delicate cycle and take my chances, I suppose. But it is kind of that thicker canvas, so you might want to, um, you might want to iron it so that it comes out nicely. 
or or just spot wash it but it is a light enough gray that it is going to if it's working like an apron get a little bit dirty so i would have liked that to have been machine washable i'm sure it is but it might not come out looking as good as, good as it started off all right guys we also got something that is one of my favorites of course which is a candle but look at this gorgeous gift box so this candle has a value of $39. A lot of the values on these products, you guys, seem very fair to me. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to open that wax seal or not. Hopefully I can, but uh, it's really pretty. It's just unfortunate that I would have to destroy the wax seal to open up the candle. It says, indulge in the scents of German Christmas markets with this long-lasting soy wax candle, beautifully packaged with a map of the city. The Swabian-inspired mix of juniper and vanilla evokes the evergreen boughs and sweet spices of the Advent season. I kind of love that. So it says, a visit to the Christmas market promises a chance to wander labyrinthine cobblestone streets and admire medieval architecture while enjoying holiday decorations and delicious gingerbread under a canopy of festivities festive twinkling lights our three inch soy wax candle presented in a modern gray glass votive you guys know i love that emblazoned with the tubing in city crest has a burn time of 45 hours and is beautifully packaged in a box printed with a map of Tubingen. value of 39 dollars Ooh, that smells really good i like that so i thought that the vanilla would be a little bit too sweet but tempered with the vanilla it almost has like a sandalwood vibe to it, like a really earthy vibe to it as well. So I am into that. You guys know I'm always happy with a candle. Then our jewelry piece will wait until the end for. We did get a nice set of, and this was the centerfold item of colored pencils. And this is beautiful because you can see they had it branded for Kivia. And it's the nice set where it has the sharpener right there in the top. That has a value of $9. It says, discover the dynamic beauty and charm of Tübingen in this specially commissioned coloring book. Each illustration is inspired by the stunning photography of Kivia's aunt-in-law, Ginny Dietrich, and the picturesque setting of historic Tübingen. It says, find inspiration in the full color photographs to create your own masterpiece with the included color pencils beautifully packaged in a tube with an integrated sharpener and printed with a modern silhouette of Tübingen these lush colors are ready for any journey so the 60 page coloring book is printed on recycled paper it's eight and a half by 11 has a value of 15 dollars and then this is seven and a half inch pencils and I'm not sure how many are in there if it says 12 colored pencils this is a nice pairing I personally I'm kind of over the adult coloring books, especially like really detailed ones. Um, I love that she did the facing pages with the uh, actual photograph that it's inspired by and then this. But to me, even if I complete this, especially if I'm trying to do it sort of lifelike with, you know, these muted browns, like very quaint village scenes. But oh, wow, this is like kind of <laughs> this is kind of an intense photograph. But then we have these uh, flowers here. Unless you're going to, if you're going to be a little bit more whimsical, like that's just like a lot of yellow and a lot of green to be filling in. So I find like things that are more uh, not nature inspired, more like mandala things are easier to color where you're not trying to be really truly authentic. Like things like this kind of work more for like, you know, wildlife. And I also find the paper here is a little bit thin, but of course you need the, that thinner paper so that the color will be really vibrant on the page. If it's too slick, it's not gonna show up with a colored pencil. Would have been nice since they did have this made for us if it had the perforated pages, because of course, if you do wanna frame or share your artwork, it's nice to not have to tear the pages out of the coloring book. But again, for the value and also just the like sort of family connection that it was inspired by photographs by her aunt, I think that is pretty cool. Um, but I think the value that they placed on it of $24 for the set of pencils and the coloring book itself is fair. Let's see. We also have a fountain pen, I believe, that I saw in here somewhere, and I'm saving the jewelry for the end. This is a Tagabuk book uh, fountain pen. I'm just trying to see if I can find this. Bring the artistic flair of the fountain pen along with you on your next journey. First invented by a German scholar in 1636, the fountain pen revolutionized travel writing by making pen and ink portable for the first time. Long treasured for smoothness and versatility, refillable fountain pens offer an eco-friendly alternative to disposable pens. Our pen comes displayed in a custom design box which is embellished with a gold accent and an embossed journey box dragonfly and opens to reveal the pen nestled in place so this is just a sticker i think this is just a sticker 
Oh, you know what it is? It's um, it's a beautiful gold plate with the dragonfly, but they just put a safety sticker over it. So once I peel that off, it'll be nice and shiny, but I'm going to leave it on there now. It kind of has this really nice uh, texture, almost like leather um, texture to it. And then this nice snap close box. So inside, again, lots of branding going on, which I don't mind it because they're pretty subtle with it, but I would prefer it to not be there. But I do like a good fountain pen. This is very nice, very black and gold, so lovely. And let's see what it, how it opens up. So I do like this kind of point, so it's very much like a calligraphy pen. I'm presuming that they did include an ink well with it, so, or an ink uh, cartridge. Says the pen measures five by five and a half inches and is composed of stainless steel and carbon fiber with a German ink cartridge. The display box is seven inches by one and. 1.2 by 2.2 so the msrp on this is 15 dollars. i feel like that is very fair for a fountain pen um hopefully it is easy and it just has a standard refillable ink cartridge but i do like writing like that but you have to have the right paper because it can kind of scratch and engrave your paper if you're not careful so let's just go over everything before we go on to our jewelry we got our apron at 45 dollar value Candle, $39 value. Coloring book and pencil set for $24. Uh, rolling pin, $20. Pen, $15. And then we finished it up with our earrings, uh, which were... Uh, also included in the box, even if you weren't an annual member, these are valued at $55, and you could have chosen, this was the only customization this time around, you could have chosen to get it in the silver or gold, and of course, I do think this would have looked gorgeous in the silver because it would be really wintry, but I went with the gold, so I'm loving this leaf design. Hopefully that will stop moving enough that you guys can see it, get it to focus here, so that is what that looks like. There we go. So it says, delight in the delicate metal crafted jewelry popular in Germany for centuries with our heirloom leaf earrings and necklace. The myrtle leaves symbolize love, luck, and prosperity. The inspiration for our heirloom leaf jewelry is very personal to designer Kivia Jeffrey West. A beautifully crafted silver myrtle leaf and flower crown has been passed down for generations in her husband James's family. Originally given from his German great-great-grandfather Ernest Meyer, Ernst Meyer to his great great grandmother Rose Meyer to honor their 25th silver wedding anniversary in 1911. That's amazing. Each of their children's names are engraved on the leaves of the matching pin and tiara. That is such a cool story. So these drop earrings are available in 18 karat gold, which is what I got them in, or silver plating. They have a one and a half inch pendant, and again, the MSRP is $55. I think they're so pretty. So I would assume that you wear it so they curve in. Let me just go ahead and take these uh, YSM design earrings off so they can try these on for you. The jewelry is always a highlight for these boxes and I love hearing that personal family story. You guys probably wouldn't know it unless you know that I am adopted, but I actually have uh, my grandmother, on my, my maternal grandmother was German. Uh, so we have quite a history in Germany. So I have been to Germany, but not all over and not to where they are from, but the family name there was Kohler. Uh, those are really pretty, very elegant and usable year round, even though they do kind of have that wintry vibe. But again, I love the inspiration. And then for the annual subscribers, you guys, we got what you probably heard spoiled earlier. We got the matching necklace that also had a value of $55. So if you got the set, it was $110. I just think that is beautiful. I love that the leaves on either side of the stem aren't all the exact same size. You have some that are a little bit smaller, so there is a sense of asymmetry in this kind of curved bar necklace. I just think that is so pretty. It has a really long extender chain, so you could definitely wear it over the neckline or directly on your skin. I think this is a really pretty jewelry set, and like I said, very, very nice. Now, I will say this is very much a Christmas holiday box. I don't know if it was intended to be that way because, again, they have been a couple seasons behind, but I think it worked. I will say that I also received the box before Christmas, so if I wanted to use my apron and my rolling pin, I definitely could have, uh, so you could have regifted it. My favorite items were definitely the jewelry pieces as well as the candle. I thought that was lovely. A little iffy on the coloring book, but I think the apron is a really cool design as well, and I just really love loved reading the articles uh, from Kivia about this place that means so much to her. 
So doing the math, if you got the regular box as a quarterly subscriber, you had a retail value of $198. And then on top of that, if you were an annual subscriber, you got a total retail value of $253. And again, this box is only $55 a quarter right now still, and even less if you do the annual subscription. So fantastic value beautiful curations. I love the element of travel. I love the personal connection. I wish the shipping was a little bit more um, regular, but this is still a box that I absolutely love to receive, and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you're pretty familiar with Germany or Tübingen in particular, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below, and I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.